Which, actually, I can just learn. I'm going to say I, I'm learning te Tempest of Shades because I can free learn. I picked this at an earlier level. I just didn't slot it in. <clears throat> Beheading Buzzsaw. Uh, you can press molten scraps from a plane of metal into spinning disc with gruesome blades protruding from its edges. It wheels forward, slicing through anyone in its path. Each creature in the area takes 5d10 slashing damage and 4d6 persistent bleed damage with a reflex save. Success, they're unaffected. Failure, full damage. Crit failure, the creature takes double damage. If the creature has a head, it must succeed a fortitude save or be decapitated. I mean... Is that a horrible. line or is that an area? Uh, It's a 60 foot line. Yeah, I just worry about the civilian casualties. I I, I don't know what Cam's gonna put us up. You know what? That's you fair. Know how You're hard here. it is to get all the enemies and civilians in a straight line. You never know. It is so unbelievably unlikely. You know, I'm gonna take beheading buzzsaw for now, but I have the death tornado that I can change. If I wish. I, I feel like it should be sentences of a tornado. Also, I'm so disappointed that the description of beheading but buzzsaw isn't just you summon a buzzsaw to behead someone. <laughs> the end. I have the tornado learned with this level up. I, I know how to cast it. It is just not in my spellbook. It's not in my ready cast right now. Mm -hmm. um, the cynicism is cool, but I think that... Um, I think that the tornado is more useful against a wider range of creatures. That's fair. I know we just leveled up, but I can't wait for level 15. I know. We get legendary finally. What? Oh, um, legendary and skills. Yeah. Yeah. But also damage increase. Huge, huge <laughs> damage increase. Let's go, barbarians. Because my rage damage goes from 10 to 16. Ooh. I have three skills I need a legendary, and I don't know which one I'm going to do first. Ah, I see. I don't know when that happens, but my mic was, mic was muted, and it's been muted. I, I don't know how long. I was looking at the Twitch, and I saw you were chatting, or, and I was like, I was about to pipe up and say, uh, yeah, you're muted, Cam. Yeah, we, we haven't just, heard you in a while. We just really hate you. Well, I was just listening to what was going on. Uh... We heard. I think it was. It was not too long ago. We heard like a thump, and I was talking to Suzanne. But anyway, we're live. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah. Uh, we've been live for like ten minutes. Yeah, I actually said it. <laughs> it might have been <laughs> muted. <laughs> it was. So, um, good thing none of you said any doxing information. Oh God! Did you catch My all those slurs is. I said? <laughs> <laughs> we 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 know how you feel about those people, Booter. Good. I'm glad I could finally get it out there publicly. <laughs> um. Hopefully, nothing is going to pull me from the game today. I I was supposed to like see family like an hour ago. And I have not gotten a response back yet. Now, now I'm getting just concerned. Do they make it over the mountain okay? I should have. It's like spring. There shouldn't be any snow on the mountains. Yeah, it shouldn't be. It's, um... Because I'll, I'll have you know, I can look outside my window and see the weather on the mountains. <laughs> it's pretty fine. <laughs> it's okay. Sorry. It just, just uh, I can look outside and see the weather <laughs> like it's some important thing. <laughs> yeah, I can see the weather at specifically where they'd have to go. What's it like being able to see the weather constantly, Alex? I can't relate. It's a lot. Whoa. It weighs down on me. <laughs> it's because you're a programmer, Slug. Everything's True. just ones and zeros. Like... I do have blackout curtains. <laughs> We do too, but that's because I make videos. That's right. Anyway. All right. So it's been some time. Last week, we actually had to have a, a sudden break because someone had family and another person yeah. was sick. 
Not same names. Imagine happy. Imagine happy. Was it family stuff. It couldn't be you, Cam. <laughs> it couldn't was be. it me? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, I, mean, but... I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> Just outing himself like that. Uh, so, last where we left off, you guys have finally finished the invasion from the Cult of Worms where after a long set of arduous battles, lots of battles actually, you guys finally faced off against your old foe, the Worm That Walks Cultists. After the various elemental lords had essentially left into what was probably a trap but also their best opportunity to end this fight so with the worm that walks cultists <laughs> i just got <laughs> it says quick and cast can only be selected once but william selected it a second time the game is tattling on you alex it's tattling <laughs> on me what the fuck bro I'm what the to get hell rid of how do I get? How do I delete the other version? I put it in the wrong spot and then put it in the correct spot. Uh, you should trash just kill the trash can icon. Uh, there's no trash can option. There's just the there's just the uh, edit item option. Wait, edit but, item? What? Because I I put it in a tab. Unless there's a second. Did I put a second thing up? Oh yeah, there we go. Wait, wait a sec. Uh, waiting a sec. Pog. There we go. I put because I put it in uh, the sheet where I put it in free actions and bonus feet and not my class feet section. Ah. Uh, Can't believe it went teacher, teacher. I know. You <laughs> selected it twice. Ah! Even though, like, that particular dweeb. feat does nothing <laughs> if you select it multiple times. I know, right? I can only use it once per day. Because you're <laughs> cheating. What the hell, dude? Uh, but yes. So, with that being the case, the Elemental Lords have uh, gone off to another plane, and you guys have been kind of left with the task of heading to Absalom to <clears throat> go and try to, I guess, communicate with the cult of the deep mother I don't, I don't know we have a ship at least we had that all set up after a proper night's rest Before we head out, did you want to check out these folding halls, William? I can give it a peek. At least while we're here. It's going to be a bit since we return. I mean, <clears throat> you guys have already been in the folding halls. At least, That's... um, while we're here... Um, this is actually a, a pretty good question. When, uh, when we get done with the worms that walk, how long would you say, uh, it takes? It's not, a, like, this isn't a Williams waiting for, uh, the Elemental Lords to get back. Um, but, like, how long does it take for them to return? Do you have no idea? Uh, because if they defeat the worm that walks... And he immediately notices that a lot of the high up people are not uh are not there. He's gonna see how intact the library is after the uh after the battle. Okay. Uh so not necessarily the the best scene for this. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Danger Island! <laughs> That's a cool map, though. This is yeah, cool map. it's from the Fist of the Ruby Phoenix. Well, 
I see, and the flags are where all the different fights or the tournaments are. So yeah, uh, at, at your question, uh, he he just like looks around and he goes, uh, in particular, there's some information that they probably have. And I noticed that, uh, well, a lot of people seem to be absent. I'm going to go do some reading. At least while we wait for our, our ship. Can I come with you? If you want. I'm not stopping you. Here, just put this on your wrist as she hands you the the leash for the harness for Sprite. He just looks down at it. <laughs> yeah, you, he'll put it on his wrist. I jump in excitement and start following. Anybody else can come along if you want to actually read. I... I'm gonna go check on the students. It's fair enough. I should probably go. Tra the library is probably rigged with traps. Yeah, I'll stick on to my charge. Libraries can be dangerous. What if one falls and hits me in the head? Those books can be heavy. You know this from experience. <laughs> Oh, I thought you meant, like, what if a library fell and hit you in the head? Look at the black. It could do that. I get ready to throw all the books at him. <laughs> Savannah pulls up next to the tree that, right next to the worm that walks. Oh no, he disappeared. Just right next to where the battle happened, just pulls out some pesh. And consumes it. <laughs> oh. Drug. Drugs. In our Christian tabletop game. <laughs> I just love the idea of like we finally beat our big boss and then it's just like, ah, oh, nice. And then just fucking like, light up right after. Damn, where's my where's my Bob Marley sound effect? Did you buy your own refined pesh, or did I give this to you? I have 30 of it, so I think you gave it to me. No, I, <laughs> I think when you went much. clean, you just gave her all the rest you I had. Didn't, I only bought 10 of each drug. Oh shit, I bought 30 refined pesh. <laughs> well, at least 20 of it. Yeah, I still got my pesh. <laughs> Oop. I think you might have a problem. Maybe. No, she's prepared. She's prepared for every single fight so she can have a smoke after one. <laughs> Jesus. Well, <clears throat> anyway. Uh, while you guys go and head off to the library, or at least the, the folding halls, because that's where technically their library is, uh, you see the large doors that you initially had like left out of recently because the, the folding halls if y'all don't remember is a it's a building that when you go through you see all these kind of like japanese style folding doors or sliding doors that you know open up that's where you had the meeting with the elemental lords just prior to the events of what had just happened when you go back to the ornate, like, archway to the folding halls, uh, you enter in, and as you do so, the doors kind of magically open up. I need y'all to, who are going inside, to make a DC 50 survival check. DC 50 survival check, you say? Mm -hmm. Cool. Goddamn. I can make it if I crit. I should probably invest in some like survival magic items. Am I pursuing a lead? Oh, dude, this is so easy and doable for me. <laughs> I don't believe you have the the the, the pursue a lead action. I don't know. It comes up every time I try to make a roll. <laughs> I don't know. I'm very curious of why this DC is so high. <laughs> because it's just where the fuck are we? <laughs> We immediately get lost in the library, never to be mm. found again. Well, this is a boss pull, even for me. 
You find the broom closet. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Rumble actually Double just damage. gets lost. <laughs> okay. It's fine. Uh, so, as you guys go in, the doors kind of like open and they snap shut behind you with a, with a loud clack no- sound. And uh, you go through several layers of doors and then suddenly the last door opens and you walk back outside. Okay. Seeing you so. all looking a little confused, a nearby student uh, <clears throat> uh, notices and he's like, was there something you needed? Well, primarily was hoping I could peruse your library. See if we could get any information or just exchange compare notes before we left for Absalom. Well, in order to enter into any part of the folding halls, you would need the explicit permission of either one of the elemental lords or the master of the school of perfection. Ah. This building here, he motions over to the folding halls, is an artifact given to us, the, the school of perfection, by the Ruby Phoenix. It is a wondrous Mm -hmm. hall the size of the largest of of, uh, imperial domains with many secret buildings hidden inside. That explains why they were talking about its protection. It's like he's looking over like, now interested. Like, ah, that is, that's interesting. I get excited and try to run in. Uh, I'll let you know. Um, and hit the, the end moment, of the fall back. No, actually, the moment that they started actually walking towards this, uh, William stopped caring about the leash, and now he was lightly holding uh, it, so you easily slip out. Uh, I run back in. <laughs> okay. And you roll another P20. It's very close. Damn it, I'm so close. So you run inside. Everyone can hear the the cascade of doors sliding open and then shutting. And then moments, mere moments later, the doors open up again and there's Sprite. I look around and I go, whoa. Turn right back, go in. And then uh, William looks around. It rumbles here, right? Yeah, just stand next to you. Maybe. Just making sure with that that one. His eyes, his eyes seem very lifeless, and he hasn't said anything in a while. Just clarify. It's like his muscles are a little limp. Just well, the, I mean, I, technically I also an, William oh, crit failed the check, so. I, I heard an oh no with it. I was making sure. Um, well, so if an intruder goes in and crit fails the check, which is very easy, uh, you can just end up stuck inside the folding halls until you succeed a check to leave. That's what I was mm. hoping wouldn't happen. Uh, Meaning yeah. that there's a lot of times people go in and just never come out. But uh, he'll turn back to the student. So I guess you don't have any research material or reading for uh, the public or at least people who were helping with the defense, right? I'd ask for permission, but it seems like all of your uh, higher-up members are currently in a different plane of existence right now. His eyes kind of like go wide, and he's like, what? What happened to the masters? They willingly went to the plane of Earth to finish the fight. Like, they're fine. They'll survive. They just went in there. We wrapped up things here. It's just... Physically, I can't communicate with them. Uh, at the sound of this, he like he 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 clasps his hand in a very like typical like respectful fashion, and he like shakes it vigorously as it seems to be like something very uh, exciting. I guess and he's just like ah, oh, 
Yes. Well, unfortunately, the only one who remains will probably be the master, though he is currently recovering somewhere inside of the folding halls. Ah, place we can't enter. There's some scrolls and documentation left to the students for our training. If you want to look at our various meditation techniques or other uh, things, I believe you have all been considered guests and friends to the elemental lords. We could definitely show you to those if that is what you want. Curiosity and boredom will make me say yes to that. I have nothing else to really do. So sure. Okay. Another survival check. You you just hear another series of like clack 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 clack. I come out breathing so heavily. <laughs> <laughs> he just like holds his hand out like uh for you to put the leash back in. Ah, I run over and hand the leash over. <laughs> no, he follows the guy. Okay. Uh, so you go head off to the the one of the elemental uh, houses to look at their training materials. As uh, Fidget, you're going around and you see that the battle was a very intense one. And the carnage is evident while many of the students did survive thanks to your uh your guys's interference it was still a pretty costly battle and you can see uh various students who have been uh killed in battle i'm not gonna go into <laughs> worms don't kill people in the best <laughs> best way no. the bodies that are there anyway our guys were killed pretty normally. They're just frozen or something. That's true. Yeah, you do see several ice peep, ice sculptures. Unfortunately. Our casualties are uh, a statue from our side of the battle. Yeah, all of our statues are m silently mouthing Sylvanas Y. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh... <clears throat> Though, with your medical expertise, you're definitely capable of helping many of those who were injured. Some with terrible acid burns. How bad of a frostbite can you heal? I mean, as long as they're not completely frozen, I can probably help with frostbite. Oh, it's too late then. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit too late. Maybe it was an arm or a foot, maybe. This is advanced frostbite. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's what one would call frost death. Yeah, they've been fully frost eaten. Yeah, she'll she'll use her medical expertise to help any of the teachers and stuff. Probably move students, get them healed up. But at least, if anything, get them off the battlefield so they can at least rest up. Okay. Your aid is most uh, appreciated and. All of the students and the various sifus uh, show very deep respects to your aid and your assistance. While she's doing that, she's trying to figure out the hierarchy of the Sif sifus to see who would be the default heads of the houses now that the elemental lords are gone. Okay, it's actually not super difficult, though it does take some time. As the battle was, as said before, costly, and many of the students of perfection run on a very, like, honor-based system, where the majority of people whom died were mostly teachers or students of relevance regardless the general stru structure is there are disciples 
which is anyone who's studying here. And then there are the upper classmen, roughly, which are students who are more experienced. They've been doing this for probably years at this point, but they haven't attained the rank of Sifu. And then there are the Sifus, who are the teachers of, of many of the disciples. Then above them, there are the the elder disciples, which are those who had taught in the past and are now play more of like an advisory, supervisory kind of role. And then above the elder disciples, you have the uh, you have the elemental lords. How many do I need to defeat in succession to become an elemental lord? <laughs> well, probably impossible because the the unfortunately the 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 point of elemental lord is not elemental lords do not actively teach. They represent the pinnacle of the style and they 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 take a position of authority but more as like figureheads than they do actual like have hierarchy here at the school. So and if we defeat the elemental lord of wood, Rumble can be him. Well, you also need to practice the the way of wood in I mean, order to be him. considered an elemental lord. He's literally wood. How much like wood nice. elemental lords say that? I, I mean, there's a good number of students here who are also like somewhat made of wood as well. Oh, that's pretty hype. Are they 100% wood, though? Uh, no. Most of them are... The, they're, it's a heritage called Idona or Idione. I have to look it up real that's like the That's like the elven plant people, right? Fine. Elven, elven, no. They're, the, they're people who have ancestry with the... Uh, with the elemental plane of wood. Yeah, these these nerds are cyborgs calling themselves robots. <laughs> They're called. Wait, what? Did I miss it? We got Ardande. the Ardande. I'm gonna be Devin's campaign manager in a second campaign in a row. <laughs> uh, they're Ardande, which are like those who have mixed heritage with uh with beings from the elemental plane of wood or uh -huh. or p potentially uh descendants of dryads ooh mm. so uh the you notice that amongst the various elemental houses the um, the the elemental houses have scions from various elemental planes and affinity it is not uncommon to see though there are some who are full on uh members of the the particular elemental affinity let's see here for instance you notice that the elemental lord of metal himself rather than being a talos which is the one who has like metal heritage is actually a Uh, what's it called? Names are difficult because they're all like like Middle Eastern kind of names. Uh, Zura is what elemental like sentient elemental beings that are somewhat like sapient are called. Hmm. So yes, there are some that are made of wood. <laughs> Funny enough. Uh, granted, as in typical kind of like martial arts fashion, if you really wanted to, I'm sure you could challenge the various uh, like Sifus or Elder Disciples or whatever to gain a place of standing here. 
<laughs> if he really wanted to, though uh, they're not accepting any challenges at this time. Fair. Cowards. They are just a little bit busy. But there's so many job openings now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Were there a lot of Elder Disciples that were lost in the fight? Yes. Majority of those who were lost in the fights were... Well, not Elder Disciples, because the Elder Disciples, again, are, like... They're, they're, they're people who are, like, literally elderly most of the time. People who have been at the school for decades and okay. uh, taught at some point in the past. But I don't but... judge a book by its cover. The old tavern keeper can easily kick someone's ass. Well, and in a setting where, like, elves and dwarves and things exist there are some that look more youthful for sure especially those who have some kind of elemental heritage i think that's baloney i think they gotta be elf elders and dwarf elders to get there it should be proportional to their lifespan well when she's done assisting with the injured She'd probably want to talk to one, at least one of the remaining elder disciples, just to warn him that this there could be another attack, and that the elemental lords have gone to fight on the plane of Earth. Okay. Uh, you approach an individual who looks, uh, who you've been directed to. Uh, to be like one of the elder disciples of the House of Fire, and he, when hearing this information, he's like, "Hmm, makes sense. We're going to have to prepare in case anything else happens. We do have a sacred array that can protect the school, but it will close us up to the outside world." Is it temporary or is it permanent? It is as long as we are able to maintain it. It would require 20 uh, individuals of, at the very least, Sifu level to maintain the array. It's something that we can do, but it will take some time to arrange. We hate to ask more of you since you've all been doing so much for us, but if you could at least stay here with us until we can set up the array, would be most appreciated. I'm sure that would not be a problem. It's been a long journey up until now. And if we can stick around to ensure your, the rest of your safeties, that would probably be the best thing we could do before we leave. I'll talk it over with the rest and see if they are in agreement, and I'll give you our answer as soon as I can. He nods. Thank you so much, honorable guests. I'm assuming with the short time she's been here, she's kind of picked up respectful terms, like when a conversation's over, if there's a response, a physical response or anything, or a simple head nod's fine when she moves on. Okay. So eventually you all manage to relax or or do what you're doing and meet up again to converse about what's going on. I make it very hard to relax. I'm sitting on William's shoulder looking at the book he's reading. I go, what what word is that? What does that mean? Oh, what, what about that one? And that one? Oh. I'll, I'll say uh, you're talking to a man who has uh, teaching experience. <laughs> He has a he has a weird high amount of patience. <laughs> I do that for like five minutes straight on every page, like ten times, and then I get silent for a moment, and I just stand up and start running around. I very quickly lose interest in book. I praise the sun for ten minutes. <laughs> Yeah, at most, he's, like, going through this. Is, um, is any of the material they give me interesting, like, at all, to, uh, what William's studies are, being, like, planar research, uh, aberrations, uh, pertinent to their stuff in Absalom, or is it just, like, entry-level meditations, like, that kind of stuff? 
Uh, I wouldn't say entry level meditations, but there's definitely a lot of text about, you know, uh, focusing, using your key, aligning your meridians. Uh, I mean, on, on an intellectual, like academic level, it is fascinating because, I mean, in this world of magic, a lot of this stuff is just real. So, oh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> the thing like aligning one's meridians or uh, things like cultivating the soul, all that kind of stuff are actual things, though, unless it's something that you have been training with or are super familiar with, a lot of it just kind of goes over your head. It also doesn't necessarily help that most of this is in the, let's see here. I'm trying to see if I can find, cause I'm sure that it, it came out with the recent world book. I don't have the Impossible Lands book. But I'm sure they have a language specifically for this. I just don't know what it would be. Uh, what if I type in I mean, like monsters I can get from the book. Don't see anything. Anyway, a lot of it is in the native language of Jalmeray. Yeah, which uh, does not speak. But there are some that are in, you know, like Taldane, which is the more common language used in a lot of. Uh, a V-stun, anyway. And so there is some stuff, but unfortunately, when it comes to, like, planar stuff or anything, uh, most of that is not something accessible. Though, I should say, uh, you do, if you decide to go to the House of Water, can read some of their scrolls and such. As I would like to. It is in, uh, I believe, Thessalonian... I speak Thalassic. Thalassic, yeah. Which is in reference to the... Let's see. See, the part I'm struggling with right now is mostly just the lexicon changed for a lot of this kind of stuff. Because before it was like the Undine. Now. They changed all the elemental words. They changed all the elemental words. And now. They are called. Let's see, where's the water stuff? Is that air? That is air. Why is both air and water gotta be blue? Because the other air color is green, and that's wood. Bum, 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 bum. Where is... Thetahan. There we go. 
the the fate of Hana, which is the uh which is the water elementals so uh That's in those funny. documents you start learning more about My family just messaged me now two hours after I was supposed to hear from them. Oh my god. Uh, but you do find some some loose information talking about the Fate of Han and how some of their particular like martial arts have come over from the Plane of Water. And uh, you learn of. Let's see, do they have that information here? I'm pretty sure they do. Oop. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, you learn about a couple of cities, quote unquote, in the uh, in the plane of water. You learn of the primary one, which is uh, Vilesk. Also known as the Shining Pearl of the Plane of Water. Uh, it's known for its towers that extend deep into the water. And uh, it's a giant, massive, like, air bubble city, essentially. Nice. Uh, you also learn... That this city itself is not actually like a set structure, but one that is adrift in the plane of water, which is very common. Uh, this massive uh, city with the towers that kind of extend into its depths uh, is currently orbiting a location called. Dun, 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 dun. A location called Palixna, which is essentially a deep sea sun. Holy shit, that is really cool. Uh, uh you also learned of another city called City on Lore, which is a giant city on the back of a large anglerfish. Whoa. Goddamn. The thing to put your city on. Yeah. Look at that thing. It's probably traumatizing. Probably. Well, what's even more traumatizing about this particular one is uh, for some reason this uh this particular uh, let's see, i'm gonna create a journal real quick uh this is called city on lore because i want to show you the picture Uh, add a page. Image. Create a page. Damn it, I need 
need to save this image. Uh, let's put this in my backgrounds. All right. Oh. So there's the city on lore, and uh, the large anglerfish in question uh, mm. has curiously remained stationary on the not far from Phantom's Ebb, an undersea graveyard uh, that is filled with lesser and greater undead shadows. Hmm. What the fuck? And for some reason, the city's just kind of just chilling near there. No one knows okay. why. We haven't had a campaign here yet. What the hell, Cam? I hope we'll go there soon. That would have to be a higher level campaign due to the shadows. Right, yeah. Nope, level one. I'll beat them up anyway. They're that good. Yeah. But yeah, so uh, you do learn else? about some interesting locales in the yeah. plane of water. Um, follow-up question. Is there anybody in the room? Uh, not particularly. Uh, William pockets it in his temporal, like, po uh, little pocket library. <laughs> okay. He's gonna steal that. Oh, once everyone's back, Fidgel will bring up what the uh, Sifu had said. Or not the Sifu, the um, Elder Disciple said. About asking them wanting to know if we can stay a little bit longer so they can get the magical barrier set up. Not against it, at least. I mean... We learned that, uh, can't actually enter the halls unless, uh, you're given explicit permission, which, gotta say, that does mean those artifacts we gave them are pretty safe. That is fair. I don't see any problem with it. We should have permission. Besides, uh, you're very quiet, Alicia. Over... You're quite quiet. I just hear okay even quieter than you <laughs> were a moment ago. My mic's being weird. I'm turning your volume up. Doesn't help I have them at 200. Uh, is that better? No. Not uh. at all. Alright. Don't fix it. I've turned you up to 200. <laughs> Don't blow my ears out now. <laughs> what? But it would be funny. It would. It would. And, hey, who knows? Maybe in the meantime, and, like, he looks over to Rumble, like, we can pick up meditating. I was reading a lot about meditating and other practices. Pick up a hobby. I suppose we could learn something about that. I meant it more as a joke, but if you really want to, I will support you. Ah, I didn't catch the humor. He looks over and just like back like, damn, I just got diced up. <laughs> Sleeping on an actual bed before we go on the ocean would be nice. Especially after this day. Yeah. Creaky wooden bed or a hammock? We'll get one of those two. Okay. 
You're also out of juice and kind of like shakes the bag a little bit. All right, then. I guess we got some time to rest and prep. Oh, yeah, you were in the House of Water, right? I was. Was there places to go swimming in there? It's not that no. kind of House of Water. Darn. And he, though, if you do want to read something interesting, as he, like, quickly just, like, traces a line in the air, puts his hand into nothing, it just disappears. <laughs> He pulls out a a like sheet of paper, like a, a scroll, and then like hands it off. Oh, would you add this to your library? Um, today. Where'd <sighs> you get this? House That's of Water. Our, That's our William. <sighs> it's pertinent. Okay. There's a city in the plain of water that's on an ang an angler fish. Like he's like reading it. Like he's <laughs> all the info that we just got. He's like gushing about it. A tiny city on an angler fish? No, it's a big angler fish. Like it's a giant one. I shouldn't be that surprised, given everything else we've seen. No, I it's feel like that's that's pretty surprising, honestly. And there's just it's impressive. A lot of just cities in Plain of Water. They're mobile. There's the other one, the uh uh the Vialesk is actually orbiting what is essentially a sun, like in the plane of water. It's a lot of interesting things that I've been collecting over these years. As he like traces it his hand over again and shoves it back into like the, the nothing space. Okay, she, she puts the scroll, rolls it back up, hands it to you. I'll probably want to read it after I've had some time to rest. Oh yeah, but I would. I can hand it out more freely once we're not here. <sighs> okay. I don't know about y'all, but I'm tired. I could use a sleep. Me At least just for spells. I would like uh, some of my energy back. Injuries? So I'm fine. Uh. Well, if you weren't before. She casts it at third level. Or a three action, so it's. Everyone gets healed if they aren't healed already. Oh. I we should have done this earlier. I was sitting off to the side. Well, on the, in the dirt, I use sprout to make it or spout to make it all watery, muddy, and I use healing plaster to turn it into healing. And I've been bathing myself in mud. I mean, a mud bath is nice. That's all right. I still need healing. <laughs> I still had two HP. I needed so. That was a lot of low rolls. Yeah. I, youch. Glad I got those ones out of the way. Also, anyone want the uh, the spring? <gasps> What's oh, the spring that, do? That'd be fucking nice. It's the nice. soothing spring. Please. It would make up for the fact that you don't get a how an actual house of water. It's not what I'm looking for, but eh, close enough, I guess. Great Wounds doesn't let me change the skill I'm using for it. Correct. Sweet. Did I love you? This is this is amazing. Thank you, Fidget. Anytime. 
No, I'm going to probably sleep in this spring. Now, if you'll excuse me, <laughs> she just like rolls over. Don't drown. She can't. She breathes underwater. Oh fuck. <laughs> Yeah, she was blessed by Lissanessa. How much does a crit healing do? Uh, Y'all don't need to worry. It's going to be several days that you guys are here. You'll eventually right. get up to max. My mud bath. And Fidget would also, as everyone cycles out of it since this thing lasts for an hour, I'm sure not everyone sits in there for the full hour. I am in for the full hour. All right, I've updated, I've updated. Uh, the hand I gave y'all with the, the actual text information for those who are inclined to read. So uh, I can't find it. Yeah, where is that? Yeah, I was wondering. I showed it to you guys. You showed it to us, but we may not have access to read it afterwards. Alright. Oh, there it is. Oh. Yo. Huh. Okay. My apologies, GM, for the uh, potential spoilers. Potential spoilers. It's within the first sentence of About the City. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean, it's okay because we're technically Riyam is dead in this book, and that's not in our game, so no worries. Like Riam died like a century or centuries ago or something like that in the in the book, so But yeah, so Anything y'all do during the next few days while they're all getting things set up? Uh, hopefully get permission to their actual information because that's my... That's really more my wheelhouse is uh, information gathering and uh, not stealing. I promise. Wink. <laughs> William went skulking outside of the place waiting for the master to show up. <laughs> like He would do the thing of just like waiting, 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 and then just like happens to be walking in like the opposite direction like oh hey <laughs> by the way can i get your express permission oh that's cool it tattles on me first <laughs> <laughs> what is with foundry being I such get a lost fucking in the library for forever sorry what's with foundry and what what's with foundry being such a narc <laughs> I know. Yeah, technically she didn't because she's able to take it off and put it back on. Anyway, I spend these few days being lost in the library. <laughs> Sprite, I haven't seen him in a while. Cuts to me with walking through the huge halls, surrounded by just walls and empty void. Just, Hello. <laughs> there's only one there. Damn, what mod is this? <laughs> Why is it so sassy? Wait, it's just this. I can't believe it. Oh, it does daily stuff too. That's cool. Uh, if anything, Fidget uh, would spend her time helping patch bandages and all of that, changing all of that. Well, well, Fidget, you're a godsend here. <laughs> you get this place going in no time because in addition to your ability to heal, I believe you also have the various mercies, right? With your... I do, but I have... I think I only have a couple. Uh, I have the normal one. 
uh, counteracts a fear effect or an effect opposing the paralyzed condition. <laughs> I can I walk, walk again. again. <laughs> uh, if I do that, they also get very fast. They get a 10 foot status bonus to their speed until the end of their next turn. Yo. And oh, no, make them addicted to speed. And I can use mercy <laughs> in instead to attempt to counteract a curse, disease, or poison. Yo. Okay. If it's needed, I can make some like tonics and shit for people. It's the the school itself is is chalk well has some I forgot because uh the methods came and stole a lot of their materials. But uh, they have a lot of things related to physical injury in their storehouse. So Regardless, it's going very well for for the the place. They're already starting to rebuild. And uh, you see them kind of out in that main courtyard that you saw before. Uh, laying down some kind of almost arcane looking pattern. Which mm. is, it, when asked, uh, it's the foundations for the spiritual array that will def that'll protect the entirety of the uh, House of Perfection. And, uh, you know, just to make sure, because William will think like this, looking it over, is it being done correctly? No, no, like, no one's fucking it up, maybe even intentionally or accidentally. Uh, you don't know what this particular ritual essentially is for, so. Ah. It's just not a ritual that you know, so it's hard to say. That is fair. It looks like it's right, at the very least. Nothing, nothing seems abnormal. That's their problem. They all die. <laughs> He continues to wait in a bush for an elemental master to get permission. S sitting in a bush waiting. He just wants permission. Let me in the building. Why are you a vampire? I would, I would like and I want to be. I just I want like, in there. I'd like to be with William, hoping to inquire about a reward. That too. A reward would be nice. Well. Uh, after several days have passed, Sprite finally manages to make their way out of the, the folding, the house of folding doors. <sighs> uh, it literally is I'm just a Sprite subplot. It's just... <laughs> I crawl my way out. You can see my ribs as they're, I'm so <sighs> skinny. My cheeks are so sunken. Oh, that's where you were, Sprite. I forgot. Water. <laughs> A water, a water skin's handed down. Cause William was waiting out there. <laughs> he got excited the moment the door started opening. And that's all it was you. <laughs> oh. I hold it above my head and drown myself in it. And I stand up and I go, "Ah, oh, much better." I turn right back around and walk back in. <laughs> Uh, as you're walking back in, suddenly the door opens in front of you, and uh, a elderly looking individual an individual with a long pointy beard uh, walks out. I see how old he is and say, "Man, you were in there for a long time, huh?" <laughs> That I was. You must be one of those adventurers who have been helping us with the going ons of the uh, the attack on our school, as well as our plight against this imbalance in the material world. That would be it. 
As he notices y'all sitting in a nearby bush. He raises a, 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 a quite a thick eyebrow. Things <clears throat> as I emerge from the same bush as William. Well, I am most thankful for your assistance. He gives you a polite, uh, you know, crosses his hands together and gives you a, uh, a polite, like, slight bow. I am the master of this house of perfection. <clears throat> and now that I'm able to walk again, I would like to reward you all for your assistance in this matter. Oh. Well, um, we will have to gather everyone else then. You can meet me at the courtyard. I'm going to go inspect the spiritual array that is being placed. Good idea. And like, he gives him a respectful distance, waits for him to leave eyesight. Okay. You do so. All, once he's leaves, all Savannah's hears is fucking finally. <laughs> looks over to where the where sprite is i grab sprite's leash that i'm sir is still dragging behind him i choke on it as i hit the end very quickly come on we're gonna get treasure i start barking at the <laughs> library <laughs> Are you okay? Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. I feel like all this leash business might be bad for them. Also, with how <laughs> you all do this, like, I don't know. I've never had a problem. And, like, he takes the leash and <laughs> waits to see if the Sprite's uh, pulling on the leash immediately changes. Because <laughs> it has I'm been. Just standing next to William very calmly. Like, he's just calmly holding it, like, very loosely. <laughs> I'm standing right next to you, just waiting to go somewhere, just looking around calm. I take it back, holding it the same I way. run as fast as I can <laughs> to the end of the leash. Huh. You deal with him. <laughs> Hand it back. Sure. And, like, he, he looks over, <laughs> and, then like, before making his, the comment, uh... Can I determine how old Sprite is? <laughs> I'm I'm familiar with Faye. At least I think. Uh, I have Faye lore. I can speak Faye. I'm magically. I understand a lot. It would be a nature roll if you don't have Faye lore. I. Ugh. That's not very good. My only question is like. <sighs> He's wanted to say, like, this is an adult. So it's, it's a sprite, but then he stopped himself of like, is, are they? Do you even know how old Sprite is? Yeah, so right here on my character sheet, what I've written under age is three or three thousand three hundred and thirty-three. <laughs> and is it wait, so is an or it's not a range? Yeah. Okay. I'll give you three bonus experience points because number three. Yes. I'm at three, guys. Okay. With, with an eight nature check, he tries to place if he can determine if this is an adult fae. Uh, you don't know. And in fact, you've never seen an old fae before. They might huh. just be ageless. I mean... His mom is a lot bigger than him, so I assume he's still a child. I don't assume Faye age like trees. I'm saying we age like trees? You were once a lot smaller. It's not the same thing. It's not an exponential growth. Hmm. 
I'm just calmly looking back and forth between them as they're discussing me. I Am I going to grow? Are Maybe. You? How old are, are you? you? I point at them and go, Am I going to be your your height? How old are you? How old am I? Yeah. Me? Yes, you. It's my right. age? Yep. <laughs> it's been a minute. <laughs> um. I, I find a stick and start writing math equations in the ground. A thousand, higher or lower? Um. Are we talking like the roman calendar or what's a roman chinese lunar calendar what's a chinese hmm i crossed out some of the equations <laughs> i will spot you uh a, a part of the purchase for your next drug visit if you give me a numerical value for your age oh i start doing math faster <laughs> and more seriously and then i stop and look at it for a bit and then I throw the stick to the side and go it came back inconclusive lovely w William can you look over it, he looks, it yeah he looks at the math it's just a bunch of nonsense most of them aren't <laughs> numbers you know what I, I look at I look at sprites math let me make a check I roll my academia lore <laughs> Oh, right, I have that, too. I can make moderate elixirs a lot. Bitch! I really have been able to for, like, two levels. It's okay, a lot's been going on for the last two levels. I've been sitting, right. in, a, I've been sitting in a bush for, <laughs> for four days straight. My math's not right. <laughs> it definitely is. So I almost beat you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm three. Because everyone's three for 300, 3,331 times because kindergarten's really hard. Okay. Are you ditching school to be with us? Huh? I, pr I pretend I didn't hear and walk away. That makes sense. And then William follows, just like that. He, he got his answer. All right. <clears throat> You know, maybe that's like he in his own head. He's like, I, fe I feel like I understand the reason. But uh, also now, I'm I'm also thinking, man, William does just speak Sprite's language. <laughs> he just gets Sprite. He gets on a deal with Sprite, and, like whatever this comes up. William's that person who just like respects a child, and they're just there for it. He is so the person to talk to a child like an adult and like engage with them on their on like an equal level, regardless of what they're saying. Wait, I could call in my favor. Tell me your age. Technically, Sprite did say three thousand three hundred thirty-three. Fair. They it just didn't say it. Say it. It was cryptic. Which you did actually give a numerical value, so you will just let me know the next time you're buying drugs. I'll I'll pass you some gold. <gasps> yes. That was the deal. Though also you could have just told me any number, and then by the clause of our deal, I would have had to do it. <clears throat> also, Cam, to help out Fidget with like the students and stuff, I would just make uh, a bunch of these every every day. Around. Okay. Which she's very grateful for. Magic is tiring and as much as she administers any help is helpful she does imagine though because of her lay on hands and stuff some of the students do try to get a bit rambunctious and like I can move again starts to run hold on you're gonna hurt yourself all over again <laughs> <laughs> also if you need like <clears throat> other fine tunes uh, he does have things uh all these I also have the moderate version of, just as a, but for clumsy and confused, and confused and stupefied if you so need them. That would really help. I am very limited on my status effects. 
in terms of stuff I can cover. So that's very helpful. Those are indeed actually very helpful. Uh, I need to see if I, if my anti-plague and antidote level, like my elixirs of life do. But I'm assuming after all of this, a good chunk of the students are looking pretty much good as new. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, you're a cleric. You could just be like, area heal, area heal. And like, like, get everyone up to a pretty good level. The I do gotta say the rumbles, uh, various serums or, or whatever, are very good for those who are injured like with broken arms or broken legs. Oh yeah, if someone is severely missing a limb. And now uh, you only get uh, Elixir of Life. Mm. Automatically. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Unfortunately. So my, I don't have anything that's above uh, I think it was lesser for uh, antidotes and uh, anti-plague. Yeah, I would need to invest in getting those. She would also have that. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, you're invaluable. And I'll, I'll consider that for uh, this next part. Yeah. Then shortly, the gang shows up to wherever you guys are. Rumble, can you hold him? He's moving around too much. Almost easily. <laughs> just <laughs> presses a branch and holds them down. I, get I it. will I say just, most just, of these be, students are are pretty well disciplined. Not true, but there's always That's, those newer ones. This one isn't, Cam. I get in a defensive position because usually when I hear those words, it's about me. <laughs> you get that SpongeBob like, like <laughs> Caveman yeah, SpongeBob meme. meme. That's exactly the pose I imagined. Yeah. To be honest, I don't I don't think you could stop me from holding you down either. I don't it's know, like, I fought a giant that one time. It's true. <laughs> Once the healing's done, they're like, okay, he can go now. Thank you for the help, Rumble. Of course. It's best to see them all healed along with uh, the barrier we put up. Oh, hey. Any luck? Two pieces of news. Uh, good news or bad news? I'd both good. We I'll have be first a, in a while. Elemental Master can walk again, and significantly, and more importantly, we have a reward waiting for us. Okay. Dusts off hands. All right. I guess I got nothing else to do. I think I finished up here for the day. Alrighty. And she just follows them out to wherever he's going. We were told the courtyard. Treasure! The main courtyard or the courtyard in one of the houses? Main. Okay. Uh -huh, I'll let y'all lead the way. Alright, so you all head out to the main courtyard where the uh, various elder disciples are going in and getting ready to initiate the ritual for the spiritual array. The uh, the master is is stroking his beard, kind of inspecting everything, and he notices y'all. And he looks at you and he says, <laughs> "You're all quite the motley crew, aren't you?" Yeah, that's one way to put it. Definitely not what I expected, but 
diversity is what makes any group stronger. I flex my muscles. Oh yeah, is Mr. Piddles here? Yes. Okay, we never mentioned if Mr. Piddles came back out of the pocket. Uh, he can only be in there for eight hours at a time. Ah, okay. So I can't have him in there all day, every day. But I don't. Uh, now that I see him, can I try to see if I know what he is? Who oh, Mr. Piddles is? The, our, the master. Oh. Oh, I mean, he appears to be human. He appears okay. to be, huh? What sort of undead or fiend are you? Maybe a dragon in disguise? Ooh, flesh suit. Oh, God. It's a cold drink. Quick area heal, please. Well, you've all done... You've all given us a favor and contributed in a way that we can never fully repay. And considering the journey ahead, I would like to do the best I can to aid your journey. So, if you would like... Here in Jalmare, the House of Perfection has lots of sway, and I can get you any gear that you might need. Oh, oh no, now we gotta go through items. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, to the players, I'm going to offer Alicia's not feeling well, so Alicia's tapping out. That's fair. Uh, I, I'm going to give you all a choice because I know just saying, hey guys, do you want me to hey, go shopping, go find items yourselves is not as special, but at the same time, it lets you guys more personalize what you want to get. Or I can give you all a bunch of items I think will fit you all. I want a gift. I want a gift. I think so. I, I want something that you think would suit our characters. I want a relic okay. seat. Mainly because I might look at a thing and think it's neat or funny or cool, but you know the game and the stuff better than I do. That's true. And I specifically don't want a relic seed for any of us. <laughs> just to counter out Slug's request. I am not... Uh, as knowledgeable on the cool magic stuff, but if there's something here that can make my magic just better and cooler and fun, I want that. I will give my you relic seeds. Are interesting. Fifty dollars if you give Sprite a relic seed. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, for the gift. All right, so <laughs> I figured as much. I figured y'all would prefer just someone else pick the items. <laughs> yeah, I don't know the game as well. Uh, you think I know all the not. items that well? Do you, you know, know more better items, items than I do? Yeah. True. It's definitely Alex, not every because item you know. I just uh, don't uh, like uh, looking through it. I have that one. <laughs> Luzzy's giving out bags of cats and stabs of uh, fire. Stabs of fire. Uh, magic boot. A magic boot? <laughs> That's probably a thing, right? There Just a singular boot? Yeah, it's a magic boot. Uh, you wear it on your hand, and it's like a better bludgeoning weapon. Which hand? Uh, your right hand. There's a separate item for your left hand. Ah. Ah, dang it, I'm left-handed. It is a versatile weapon, though, so you can use it double-handed. Is that a twinned weapon? No. Okay. It's fatal, but only if you use it oh, on I know. the the opponent's butt. 
It has the the shove, versatile, and disarm trait. Oh. Okay. All right. Found a really good item. I don't know if it will be in Foundry, though. No. All right. Uh... He also offers to take you guys to the school's treasury where you uh, you each can pick out an item. As uh, even though many of them are, are somewhat like cultural-esque artifacts to at least to the culture of the House of Perfection, uh, what you guys have done here has been unimaginably helpful, saving many lives and, uh, you know, also preventing some pretty bad disasters. Also, you guys nearly got a perfect score. So very close. We're failures. Uh, so You're taking you into the vaults, there's, there's a bunch of items one item particularly stands out to you, William. Oh. Uh, you see this long, elegant black sash that features crimson books embroidered at either end and a set of simple tassels. You can detect a, a deep arcane energy coming from this one. He's gonna go over and like start checking it out because I think uh yeah that is fun I and something I I do forget uh William does have um he has detect magic always up because I have uh or I guess I just have arcane sense uh this item is an apex item called the Sash oh. of Books. Ooh, it is in Foundry. Yeah, it is. It's a it's really, great. really cool item. Also, it's going to increase your intelligence by plus one. I like to hear that. I mean, you can roll twice and take the higher result for recall knowledge. About a creature specifically, but... I could do that on any check I make. That is very fun. Oh, I get... Oh, a foresight, too. Ooh. All right, that is. Yeah, I want this. I'm taking that. Obviously. That is the one apex item you guys are gonna get. Plus three item bonus to society checks too. Yeah, you know me. I love my society. Uh, you don't wear armor, right, Rumble? I do, in the sense that I have weaved uh, armor out of my body. So you don't. I mean, it's technically a medium armor. It, it, it counts, yeah, but it is, yeah, if I give you armor, you're going to be sad. So, yes. So don't mince yes, it. <laughs> you can give okay. me rumble-sized armor. Um, Let's see. And you use the glaive, right? No, I use a, a fashard. Oh, for shard. Damn, there are no specific for shards. Cool glaive isn't a bad thing, to be fair. Yeah. Well, I know the big thing with what your build is, is you want the reach. Sweet, sweet reach. Oop, a 
that's not what I wanted. What is this item? So what is it? And I have like a 23 intelligence with this thing? Uh, no, I just have a plus 6 intelligence. Which would have been equivalent to a plus uh, 22 before. Yeah, because uh, right, cause normally William has... Uh, he just, he had a plus 5. I was, I, I, last time I got a max intelligence. Um, since... Basically, I dumped uh, everything that was a physical stat. <laughs> okay, Rumble. Uh, looking through all the weapons, you see a uh, a one-sided glaive that looks somewhat like an elegant brush that calls out to you. Mm -hmm. uh, you you reach out and you pick up the item and you instinctively attune to it and with the slightest motion it creates an inky trail uh, this is the songbird's brush It's a plus two greater holy glaive. Which I think holy got changed. Nope, no, they, they did change it. it. Okay, they did fix it. Uh, which means it's a spirit, spirit damage instead, which is actually kind of sick. Uh, though, rather than creating lights you create uh, darkness. Ooh, this is where everybody finds out I'm becoming feeble too by this thing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so where it says, uh, the songbird's rush sheds bright light in a 20-foot radius in dim light for the next 40 feet, uh, this one creates darkness when you swing it. And you can mm. choose to do this or not. Uh, this also gives you a plus two item bonus to performance checks made to dance and uh, create calligraphy. And uh, for two actions once per day, you can swing it casting prismatic spray. Oh, I do love prismatic spray. I know you do. Oh, it doesn't affect good aligned creatures in the area. How many how many of my party is good aligned? That doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, there's yeah. no alignment doesn't exist. I don't have and... to answer you. What are you, a cop? Uh, yeah, I don't have to answer that. I think I mean Fidget and I have the holy tag. Did I even set what my alignment is in the first place? I think I was chaotic good. <laughs> I straight up just didn't. But yeah. Uh and you can rename it to the uh, calligraphy gods brush. Let's see. Um let's see if it's in the founder real quick. It is, I'm looking right at it. Songbird's so brush is what it's called before. It's just you would have to thing. change the holy tag to spirit. No, no, no. The holy tag is is, is the same. same. Oh, okay. Holy, holy is still, is still a, thing. a thing. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> Let's see. And... Let's give Sylvanas another weapon. <laughs> How do I... What do I name this, by the way? Uh, calligraphy God's Brush. Are we handing Sylvanas a nuke? <laughs> uh, let's the ultimate see. Bomb. Uh, 
I wear leather armor. That also helps. I, you know, funny enough, I was just looking into the armor now. Uh, so you wear light armor? Uh, if that's what leather is, then yeah. So if you want to give me the Viper Rapier, I will also take that. I did look at the Viper Rapier, <laughs> but I think it's a little too high for what I want to give y'all. Yeah, that's fair. That is just a level 20 item. Also, we specifically said we weren't picking them, slug. I know. I can't believe you would break the sanctity of the... I wasn't drop. picking anything. I just said if you wanted you to made give a me it. You tainted the loot pool. A suggestion isn't a request. Now it's in his mind. He already said he wasn't going to. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about not doing that it. That one sentence you said changed the whole course of all of our loots. You're welcome. Now you're going to get the Viper Rapier. I don't use swords. Yeah, it's going to go to me, bitch. Nope, it's going right into my bag of holding. <laughs> For the darkness, it's just the darkness in 20. Yep. Darkness in 20 and dim light, dim light in 20. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Sylvanas, you find a a very ornate, uh, like traditional Japanese style, like battle. <sighs> battle robe, I guess, is the best way to put it. Ooh. <clears throat> it is white with gold trims. It has a golden dragon on it. Uh, it calls to you as you sense a strong feeling of freedom. Uh, this is the Jerkin of Liberation. <laughs> Oh, I should just post the link, what I'm doing. 15 foot item bonus to my speed? Exactly. <laughs> Not only that, but if any effect would impose any penalties to your feed, it must uh, first make a counteract check against the Jerkin of Liberation's item level, essentially. <laughs> what is this aura? Oh, that's awkward. The thing still sheds bright light when I equip it, but that's really cool that so it does pretty. that. So pretty. Whoa. Oh, that is really cool. And uh, yeah, you also just, it's hard for them to mess with your speed or incapacitate you. This item is just going to be renamed to the uh, Imperial Golden Dragon Robes. Where is William? Uh, probably on the other side of the map. I can't see myself anyways. That's probably why. I mean, probably got deleted. That's quite rude. William's just lost in the treasury. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm reading the books on my sash. All right. Oops. Uh, let's go with sprites next. Oh. Oh wait, this is uh. <laughs> and you missed him by three. rolling it too. <laughs> Still, you missed. Hmm, 
this actually... What did you just do? I added a modifier of 200 so I could just gain panache to see what my speed is now with this. 75. On second. Thank you, Cam. Uh, you, you guys asked for items and I'm just picking them out. Uh, let's see. Is there, I wonder. No, that's not cool. And my saves went up because this is greater resilient. Oh. So what did you say to rename it to? Uh, Imperial Golden Dragon Robes. Yes. Thank you. I listen to you, Cam. I appreciate it. Yeah, no one's allowed to quote me on that when I inevitably <laughs> ask what I have to name my thing. <laughs> All right, so 6.05 p.m. on April 2nd, 2024. Booter said that he listens to Cam. Uh, it's, it's, it's live. It's, it's data's out now. Uh, Pixar didn't happen. Um, okay. This is going to be a somewhat powerful item, but I'm giving it to Sprite, so it balances out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll never use it. It's fine. Oh no, you will. Uh, because <gasps> you find a a set of silken hand wrap hand wraps featuring intricate embroidery of a serpentine red dragon adorned with golden threads. What? These are dragon hand wraps. Mommy well, just got an upgrade. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> uh, in addition, reworking some of the summoner rules a bit here, uh, Mommy will benefit from the property rooms of the hand wraps and can also use the hand wraps effects. Essentially, this is just an item for Mommy more than anything. But For those at just... home, uh, these hand wraps are a plus three major... Striking greater flaming hand wraps of mighty blows. They also give the, the target plus four item bonus to athletic checks to make uh, grapple or shove maneuvers. And uh, when you invest in the hand wraps, you can either increase your strength by, uh, or you can increase your, your strength by plus two or plus one. Sorry. And you can activate it once per day. Uh, spend two actions to cast a seventh level uh, burning hands, which got changed to sun, to breathe fire. And once per hour, as a free action, uh, you can when you critically succeed a grapple check, you can gain a plus two status bonus to your athletic DC against any checks made to escape your grasp. So, when you put these, uh, when you put these hand wraps on Sprite, M Mommy's raiment, her her gown, is suddenly uh, lit ablaze by a, a red spiritual fire. Huh. You went going from a minus one strength to a plus four. Now imagine. If I meet that giant again. Imagine if you meet that fish again. Yeah, the fish. That is true. Or well no, it doesn't it doesn't go to automatically plus four. It 
it, it says you increase your strength score by two or increase it to eight. Oh no, yeah, it is. So plus four to sprite strength. I could never defeat that giant or that fish. I could beat up the giant easy, but yes. And I, I do understand this is a very powerful item. But in Sprite's hands, <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> That's yeah. true. Look at how much I I uh, do stuff with Mommy. Just the other day, I was giving him shit for like still having not having striking on his hand wraps. And now he just has major striking. Yeah, major striking too. Oh, and you can cast Breathe Fire? <laughs> I want this. Also, I do have striking on my hand wraps. Do you? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. They took yeah. we took the properties off of uh, uh, my ranger's crossbow that became pointless when we learned uh, the uh, action economy needed. Uh, uh, striking, rooting, hand wraps of mighty blows plus one. Oh, okay. So now major striking. Jesus Christ, this is Yeah, insane. no longer no no longer uh rooting, sadly though. I mean oh no, William's yeah. not a crafter, that's right. Who is crafting in this group? How would I craft? I can pay someone or steal. I mean technically fidget's trained in crafting. Technically I can craft alchemical items with nature. Yeah. Sprite and Everett have the best crafting modifiers at 19. Which one's trained better? Both are trained. Ah, I see. Oh god, I have to manually adjust my my attacks for mommy, because they're all items. Yeah, this one's gonna be a little awkward. Attacks. One sec, let me uh let me make a recall knowledge check real quick. Nice. That looks really nice. Yeah, that's with the brooch and uh, higher intelligence. And then... Let's double check with the sash. Because it's really if, I, if I'm if i directly trying to recall knowledge on a creature. Because the I have the brooch for uh, that I can once per day give myself inspiration. Uh, and I can roll twice for recall knowledge fuck um, anything this one's just on a creature <laughs> regardless of this roll you gain a plus one circumstance bonus to attack rolls against the creature and to your ac and saving throws against attacks and effects from the creature for one minute this bonus is a plus two if i crit succeed the recall knowledge check whoa Wait, isn't Everett a half elf? I think so. On the party sheet, it says he's just an elf. Oh, uh, and then maybe he's just an elf. Hmm. Can I put rooting on this anyway? It only has. It has plus three in major striking, but only flaming yeah you can put two more property runes kind of rooting so i'll say this for the internet because this is this is technically the ruling specific magic items can't gain more property runes they can no. only gain fundamentals that's lame well it's because the item itself typically provides you yeah, some benefit Hehehe. <laughs> so I got denied the level 20 item, but I didn't. <laughs> I'm faster now. You were so weak, I had to give you a level 20 item. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does uh does Fidget use a shield? Not yet. I haven't picked up one up yet. I've been spending money on transportation. Okay. Um The only benefit I have, Booter, is I got 15 extra feet of movement out of this. You got dragon hand wraps. 
Okay. Does she already have plus two greater resilience or something? Me? Yeah. I was just, I had a plus two resilient. Now I'm just greater resilient. Ah, uh, nice. Not just, but yeah, my saves went up as well, which is fucking nice. Uh, Fidget. In this armory, you notice a shield motif after a, a mottled crimson kraken. Its, its crest is composed of eight appendages that curl around each other, resembling the swirling uh, tentacles of a giant kraken. Two ferocious eyes sit in its center, gleaming with an inner light. This is the Kraken's Guard shield. The uh, Kraken's Guard shield is a steel shield with 16 hardness, uh, 96 HP, and a break, uh, break threshold of 48. So pretty good defensive-wise. Uh, once per hour, you can raise shield at, for two actions rather than one. When you do so, the shield's appendages briefly extend to an impossible length as they wriggle and lash out at your foes, dealing 10d10 bludgeoning damage to all enemies on a 30-foot cone with a DC 41 basic reflex saving throw. The shield remains then animated for a minute, during which you can use its it to grapple a creature within 10 feet of you without needing a free hand. When you use the shield to grapple, you get a plus three item bonus to your athletics check. Alrighty. She went, oh, this looks pretty. Oh, oh. There's some really strong magic in here. I like the symbolism. Just picks it up. No renaming it or anything? Nope. No major changes. It just seems like it came from the plane of water. What? Plane, plane <laughs> of water? That's that's my thing. I know that. It's also Fidget's thing. I can tell you all about it extra well. I'm surprised it's not an invested item. Nope, held items are not typically. The investment is actually holding it. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right, and then for Everett. Let's see here. Him like a cool sword. Yes. Um. Everett finds a short sword with a golden handguard resembling that uh, a bird with outstretched wings. the The sword's blade is broken halfway up its length, but this doesn't seem to impair the sword's function. This is the Blade of the Rabbit Prince. Ooh. It's a plus two greater striking dancing short sword. And it has an activatable function where uh, you can activate it for an action. Whenever you attempt to trip or disarm an opponent, you can use thievery instead of athletics. I don't think that's super big for, for Everett. You can add the Blade of the Rabbit Prince's item bonus to this check. You do not need a free hand if you're wielding the Blade of the Rabbit Prince to do this. And your target can be up to two sizes larger than you. Not the fanciest item here. Ever, it's a fighter, unfortunately, so I gotta kind of take that into account. Uh, but it is a dancing sword, which is pretty good. It can just animate itself and fly around. Yep. Uh, 
Let's see here. There it is. I'll just throw this on Everett Sheet. Also, I want to make a another special note. Uh, the Thunder Charm that I gave Everett, which was just an improv item, they literally made the uh, Jolt Coil, which does the same exact thing. <gasps> Sue them. <laughs> I'll just say, that's just how Paizo is. Anytime I have like a really good idea, it just shows up in one of their books. Can't believe Paizo is watching, waiting <laughs> for the new innovations for them to take we were told on stream that they have these ideas like two or three years ready and already written out how do we know that it doesn't take them a day to create it True. and that they're just sitting in every single live play and youtube video just waiting yep i believe it I don't know how to turn this to darkness, but it's fine. Uh, I am doing that right now. <gasps> oh, it's less pretty. One second. What if I do... Spooky. Oh. Okay, so it's either just dark or bright. To be fair, I can't see in the dark. I created an interesting effect. Um, I see. I love my book sash. Let me so I'm fashionable sad. and I'm literate. I love my fire hands. I'm gonna be His spell DC is eight more than mine. <laughs> it is a level <laughs> twenty item. I'm gonna be so sad going from Sylvanas to my Plague Watch character. I have a max speed of 75. 
<laughs> it's gonna be quite the fall going back to low level Pathfinder. I don't know. Sprite's very unoptimized. <laughs> Are you having fun? Yeah. That's optimized enough. That's all that matters. Yeah, but I'm not gonna lose much going back oh, to Oh god. Level. Yes, this one. Oh. Wait one second. Yes. Like... Jesus Christ. Yes, give. This is what I the want. gay Cameron. If you don't, be homophobic. Don't oh, he's homophobic. I'm messing with the options. Can I just boost the shadow? Style. Oh. That's interesting. Yeah, that's cool. I'm trying to get something that matches the the inky brush aesthetic. What happened to this one? There's nothing happening. Oh, because it's on natural light. Or not? Shield is terrifying. The shield's going to be very interesting. I want to give Fidget something that, uh,. What is Oh, that's what it was. On something that's not necessarily so uh, overt. I think I like this one. Okay. Um Okay, the intensity does need to be high. That looks cool. I'm curious as to why it suddenly got like in that think about that <sighs> the 
let's see. Okay. There you go. You got your inky aura now. Ooh, you're gonna need to find some night goggles. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't crash Slug's computer. Uh, oh. no, Slug hasn't said anything in a while. <laughs> That's true. Uh -oh. <laughs> cool. Sticks are up. Uh-oh. Oh. I hope that was a bit leaving the call, not an actual leaving the call. I hope that was a bit going offline, not an actual going offline. What about going offline? <laughs> you you left the call and went offline. Yeah. As a goof, my computer's doing fine. Yeah, I, I knew it. I was just eating fucking M&Ms. All right. Hopefully y'all like your items. <laughs> I do. I do. I'm going to change my whole character i'm guys are gonna spend a few weeks here still to just sort of respec so i can change all my abilities to be centered around mommy punching people in the face are you gonna multi-class in the monk um yeah maybe barbarian <laughs> just gonna get some training in athletics yeah probably magus <laughs> I'm gonna go legendary athletics. <laughs> You're making my addiction worse, Cam. To speed. Yes. One action Butcher. 75 feet is too powerful. So that's the farthest you've gone, right? Because Serena was up to 90 feet, wasn't she? Serena was, I believe, 60. I don't no, remember. Serena I knew we were across faster. the map in one turn. Serena was so slow. <laughs> it's funny too because weren't you like a Liberator champion? Isn't that the champion you picked? Yeah. Yeah. So it's very fitting. Extra fitting. But yeah. So y'all get to choose some some artifacts from the from the House of Perfections Reliquary. You come out all geared up, ready to take on the world. I'm also, yeah, it was only 60. 25 base, 5 from fleet, and then incredible movement only got up to plus 30. Nah. I'm looking at my hands all cool-like, and then I do some, like, shadow boxing with just the air. Actually, set fire something on fire. Out. <laughs> I burn down the whole building. <laughs> I mean, as you punch, there's there's a <laughs> from the fire that blazes off of your hands. I sort of look at William from a safe distance and punch in his direction. I say, look out, William. You get too close to me, you're going to lose some books. Woof, 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 woof. He just puts his hands up and mock like, whoa. <laughs> like mock surrender. It's just like the very light, like not even raised up that high. I put my fists in the air and start jogging around like I just won a boxing match. <laughs> While Mommy's sitting there all fiery. <laughs> Coated in, in spiritual fire. Should I be concerned she's getting more and more on fire? I look over. Um, no, it's probably normal. I was about to say literally the same thing. <laughs> Probably normal. I go over to mommy and go for a high five at, for winning against William. And she low fives me, and I, as soon as I hit her, I go ah, as if my hand was very burned. And then I turn to everyone and go, "Just kidding! I'm also my hand is fire." Oh. So Vala so jumps to your aid <laughs> in a moment's notice. <laughs> at a, uh, at a inhuman speed. Oh, 
while this is going on, Fidget's like fiddling around with the shield going, huh, I wonder how this works. Accidentally switches grip and activates the shield. Grappling sprite. Ugh. <laughs> Ooh, oops. That's I lay limply in the grapple. I've been bested. Uh, how do I turn this off? Uh, ah, here. <laughs> just drops you. I fall flat on my face on the ground. <laughs> All right. We're, we're really ironing out the sort of ranking of our group here. Now Fidget has to fight someone else. <laughs> See who's stronger there. Fidget erupts into tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> she looks over at the master and goes, Is there anything I could do for you? I heard that you were in poor health before you came back. Okay, I gotta change the setting. What, what's going on? You can disable this tip in the automated the animations module bit. setting. Hmm? Oh god, I can't see. There's too many. Stop moving! <laughs> Automated animation. Oh. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> it's okay. There's no rage behind it. Oh, can I hit the setting? Uh... The fuck? Like a rage really hurts me. I also just rolled terrible. <laughs> Three ones? Holy there shit. Yeah, yeah we're not good. Okay, you can move around now. Also, I love that the damage icon for that is just a little ghost guy. Yeah, spear yeah. damage. Which affects just things with a soul. Uh, start sweating, hoping I'm not targeted. <laughs> Don't want to reveal my backstory too early. <laughs> so, y'all have come out with your new shiny gear, and uh, as they're getting ready to finish the spiritual array, the master turns to you all and gives another slight bow. With this, I hope that you will find success in your future ventures. You will need to leave the House of Perfection, though, before the spiritual array goes up, or you will be forced to stay here for as long as the array lasts. Understood. Thank you so much for all of your help. He nods. He nods. Alright, let's go. We got a boat to catch. Alright, we do. Wait, where's our lizard? Places William in his saddle. <laughs> where's my elephant? Your, your lizards and elephants are at the uh, stable here. The House of Perfection. Are oh, they right here? my lizard. Has my lizard been keeping up on his literacy and elephant riding training? He likes his eyeball. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't let me down. I forget what I named him. Oh yeah, didn't I give him the name of someone I stole? I think so. I think I wrote it in... I think you called him oh. Everett. I do think you did call it. No, that was the bison. That uh, was a bison. Yeah. Wasn't it Sylvanas <laughs> or something like that? I think it might have been Sylvanas, yeah. I don't think so. I don't know. I didn't write it down when I poured guess, it over to Foundry. Guess, uh, guess we'll have to find 20. out. Have to go back through the tapes. 
All right, grab the elephant. Let's go. Elephant noises. The heck? I just went to roll 20 and it's all in a different language. <laughs> <laughs> you must not know happy. the ancient lore. Yes, please don't give me websites in Spanish. <laughs> Not on. Guess we leave. Okay. As you all finally leave the premises, you see these radiant blue lights kind of ascend into the sky. And uh, they create this kind of, you know, uh, geometric pattern, very reminiscent of a lot of, like, Tao... Taoist kind of... Uh, like formulas arrays if you're ever familiar with like chinese iconography and then the entire house of perfection is covered in this this radiant blue barrier You descend the 10,000 steps that lead from the House of Perfection down to the streets of Jelmeray. And uh, you prepare to board a ship for Absalom. All right, guys, I figured it out. The lizard's name is Jagadath, who is someone on our ship. Yes. And the elephant's name was Jitai Koran, who is an elemental lord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, we didn't pick up more waffle irons. Oh, shit. Now oh, we're on the boat now. You don't get to make our army. I mean, we're going to Absalom. There's a ton of shops with, iron, flat, with waffle irons. Sad to say, guys, I think Shadow Dancer might be too big of a dip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, uh, boarding amounts for the ship is five gold per person, 20 per lizard, and 50 per elephant. Oh, thank god, I have five gold. Yeah, I'm I'm paying the five gold for myself. I look to everyone and say, I have eight copper. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay for your boarding fee for you. I'm not I'm not covering. I gave you, you so many drugs. Yeah. How much is 30 pesh? No, you gave me no, you gave me I bought my pesh. You gave me like a sliver. A I've couple given slivers. You so many drugs. That's not enough for what was that, 70 gold? You did not cannot give me 70 gold, gold worth. Of, well, I, I guess probably did. You've not You've given done me a lot 70 of gold worth for, of drugs. I spent almost a thousand gold on drugs. And you've not given me sips. I will point out, out you do problem. have favors people owe you. I know, I was thinking of that. Yeah, and I don't owe you a favor. Uh, how much does Fidget and Everett have? You sure you want to know? I mean, I <laughs> think I can call in my favor for it. Alrighty. Here's what she has in her bag. I will post it in the chat. Oh, no. I'm not leaving Everett. my riding lizard and elephant behind. Doesn't Fidget also have a riding lizard to pay for? Ah, uh, no, she sold yeah. them. Oh. She didn't want to risk her lizard getting attacked. So Pearl is with a new loving family. The children adore Pearl. And they're still <laughs> trying to figure out why Pearl licks their eyeball. While the poor uh, farmer's wife is trying to figure out what they're going to do with a lizard. Yeah, That's a real responsible shame. thing to do is to uh, rehome your weird pet before taking it on an expensive boat ride and not have a fucking elephant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I, uh... Oh, you're a lot less broke than I am. I oh, jeez, like you're, uh... You're decently off. I, uh, I only have 200 gold. <laughs> I have 289. You have 80... You have 80 platinum. Pidge <laughs> doesn't buy anything for herself. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. I didn't buy anything for myself. That's why I spent so much on drugs and all of a sudden I suddenly needed money all the time. <laughs> it's almost like that is a pretty good metaphor for what happens in real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I guess uh Fidget looks if over it and can't be paid for. Rumble will reach into the bag to obtain brine dragon materials to use. Don't sell, don't sell. <laughs> <laughs> Fidget's like, do you accept platinum? Talking to the boat keeper? Yes. Yeah, we accept platinum or gems. gems. Perfect. She hands him enough for the elephant and for the lizard. Uh, that'd be seven platinum. Alrighty. I believe. After right. Is platinum, is, is platinum fives or tens? It's ten. 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 Yeah, that was right then. As we're walking on to the boat with our animals and friends, Sprite's just complaining to everyone about how the remaster messed up my staff and I lost all my transmutation stuff. <laughs> what is a remaster? As, as William feels... <laughs> he looks off in the distance and he feels like he's a new person suddenly in these past few weeks. He feels very different, as if he's entirely been altered. What's transmutation? Yeah, yeah, so yeah the schools are gone uh, now, too. Uh, yeah. Uh, I look down into the water <laughs> longingly. I, there's a small shudder in William as he suddenly has the words evocation tiefling in his head and then it shakes as a bad dream fades <laughs> <laughs> no he is a he is a nephilim of the war school <laughs> nothing more he always has been <laughs> I, I I speak fey and empyrean those are the languages I know not not anything different you know common yeah oh, okay and draconic and Jotun. let's see here all right um i'll leave the choice to y'all i'm already typing the website because i can already anticipate uh, do we want to do encounters on the way to Absalom? <laughs> or do you guys are want we, to do? Are we on a private, are we on a charter? Or are there, are there other people with us? There are other people. I, I mean, think like, we're probably the most well-off group on this boat, though. Yeah, I, I want encounters, but I don't want more depression from seeing innocents die. <laughs> Well, then don't kill them. <laughs> that seems to be inevitable. Yeah, if you're a psychopath like you. Now, I'm not saying I'm a creature of horror, but as a player, I enjoy fighting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do want a one action run across the entire ship as a flex. Yeah, Alex. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. My computer got fucked up. I'm trying to fix it. I can't type anymore. Fair. You're, you did look like you were just talking for a bit there. I don't know. I'm I'm happy that my alt key works, but none of my other keys work normal. Rip. I'm I I clicked on tabs and then they fucking closed. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Do we want to actually break? Oh, that's a good point. 
Uh, yeah, we can go ahead and take a quick 10, 15 minute break. Uh, we'll be back, we'll say around 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'll be right back.
hard. We were muted for the last couple minutes. What the hell, man? All I'm that quality content? Subscribe to the Patreon, guys. Just gotta be the Patreon. See, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want the edited shit? Pay me. <laughs> you want this to be good? Pay me. Uh, uh, all right. So, the seas between Jalmeray and the Impossible Lands and Absalom are well-traveled, but not completely safe, and the odd event does occur. Uh, the trip will take you all. Let's see here. I get a map. Um, am I going to map with any kind of rubric on it? Probably not. I mean, the Pathfinder Wiki has that one map. Wiki. All right, let's see here. Measure distance. All right, you guys have 250 miles. And I would walk 250 miles. And I would walk 250 more. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. I know, I'm pretty sure that's under services, I bet. Transportation. Sailing ship. Um, that does not tell me vehicles here we go all right give me boat is galley in here cutter's close Long ship? No. Sailing ship. Close. I might just use that one. Galley. No. Need a galleon. There's a lot of, a lot of vehicles. Okay, we're going to go with sailing ship biggest boat I could find sailing ship all right and then I need the rules for traveling Okay, speed, 40, 32 miles per day. So it will take you guys about a week to get there. Uh, the Oh, 
Oh, I'm sorry. That's nowhere near. Wait, why is it? One second. Stop. Peter, I forget. Have you ever officially decided if Greg's alive or not? I have, but you I've never told anyone. Okay. And uh I don't remember what I decided. <laughs> so I am just gonna make it up on the spot when I'm asked eventually. Um well I'm asking you to at least probably tell Cam. Okay, let me break out the calculator here, because that's the journey's a lot longer than I was expecting. Uh uh uh. 289 plus 270 plus 250 oh. divided by 32. What? Oh, I think I know what happened. PEMDAS. I got fucked by PEMDAS. Because otherwise that said it would take you two or 500 days to get where you're going. Ah, oh, we're rowing there. Got it. Okay. Uh, it will take you just a little over 25 days, so about a month. Oof. All right. Let's see here. Uh, on a given day... I would have given you guys like a 10% chance of having an encounter. So every week, I guess that would mean technically a 70% chance of something happening. I feel like that's a little too much. I think it still actually just equals 10% no matter what. No, it's 70. Okay. All right. D100 times. Uh, since it would take you guys slightly over three weeks, I'll just make three rolls. Anything above a 30 results in an event. Surprisingly, nothing on the first week. <laughs> How William, unlucky. William. William knows what's going on. <laughs> He's predicted it. Oh, God. All right. William's the cosmic editor. Uh, that would have been an encounter most of the time anyway. All right, let's see what our encounter is. Is it actually something worth your guys' time? Who knows? Probably not. Wait, what? That's an interesting thing to hear. Megalodon. Is it in the monster manual? <laughs> the silence tells me maybe. <laughs> Quick, look to your right. What is I he can't looking read up? That Damn it. Okay, they changed the name. That's why I'm getting confused. Interesting, interesting. Okay. All right. Everyone needs to make a will save for me, please. <laughs> are, we, are we fucking facing like sirens or some shit? Everyone. Everyone. This will be a it's mental a effect. If you're not a humanoid. Wait, is this against fear? 
This is not fear. Sorry, to be controlled. Uh, not... Uh, yeah, I'd say controlled. <laughs> okay, that's a 39. And, uh, not being a human on it doesn't matter. Okay. I don't... I don't like that, Cam. Ooh, if there's a two. high DC and you control Mr. Piddles to betray me, I will never forgive you. <laughs> you know what? I That's a shit roll. I'm going to use the hero point. He just watches everyone on this ship just walks over the side. There we go. Let's see. Okay. Could be better, but Okay. So all that being consideration, without telling y'all the results of what has happened, I need y'all to make a perception check for me, please. Nice. Love hearing that. Pog. Um. Hey, twinsies. Does Mr. Piddles yeah, emphasize scent health? health? <laughs> No. This is an audio cue if, if that's relevant to anyone. I do always hand, walk around with my fingers in my ears. I'm just kidding. All right, so uh, it's late one evening, and a, and a light fog has rolled over the uh, somewhat calm waters around. Ugh. It's late Bag. in the evening, and you're all kind of just sitting there, uh, relaxing, maybe sleeping. Lights are are out, but you know. I'm sure there's easy easy methods of, of finding light for you guys. At the level you're at. Anything shy of lighting a torch. Uh, I need to know something. How much does mommy care about other people? Not in your party. Not in my party? Not in your party. I was gonna say she barely cares about the people in our party. <laughs> okay, uh, that 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 tells me enough. Uh, all right. As you're all kind of sitting sitting around, very very faintly, Fidget and William, you hear a splash. Something pretty big has been dropped into the water. Looking out, see if he can see it. He uh, William does have dark vision. He's gonna go look over. He's gonna grab some people, other people's attention. He didn't see it though. Okay. Uh, well, something. as you're looking out, uh, since you have dark vision, and I think you have dark vision too, Fidget, right? Yep. Uh, you don't see anything. You see some some rippling in the water from something that has splashed, but not too far off from the part hole you're looking at. You see. Very quickly, in a, over the course of a, a half a second, it looks like a person drops overboard. And another. And another. About four or five individuals have just dropped off the boat. 
One second. I need some spooky music. I think. Um, right once he sees that, uh, William is going to make the elective decision and use part of his new item on himself. There it is. Uh, I can't cast it because I technically don't have, uh, ninth level slots. What? Uh, if I cast it, I mean just send it. Um, yeah, William's gonna use his sash of books to put you to do the action. He's gonna touch his sash. I'm gonna put foresight on myself. It lasts an hour. Um, okay. That way, I'm going to get uh, some effects. Mainly, I'm gonna get initiative bonus. Yep. Uh, good fidget. Do a recall knowledge. On what? On what? Ah, never mind, that's too vague. Never mind. Why do people jump off boats? I guess roll society for depression. <laughs> I wasn't trying to go that route, but yeah, since we're going down that route, sure. <laughs> well, uh, sorry, I'm just poking fun. Uh, like, if you can just tell me what you're intending. And you don't, don't see anything, see anything other, other than, than uh, uh, people dropping off the ship. Okay, and they're dropping from lower levels. No, no from, the from the deck. The deck. So we're in the we're in the sleep. You're in the lower level. levels. Okay, we should probably go above. Uh, hold on. Sylvanas is leaving. <laughs> oh, I'm moving us to where we're supposed to be. My my, my, people, my people need, need me. me. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvanas just disappears. Well, well if you're gonna, if you're gonna do anything, you're gonna end up on the top side of the deck anyway. So yeah, yeah but... let's <laughs> it, gather everyone up and let's head top size. Is there, there any sound there of be... like? scuffling up above on the deck like normal people moving around no guys is everything all right there are people dropping into the water i sprint up to the top and there she goes i come up guys is everyone all right people are falling into the water oh you going for a swim it's a bit too far out for a swim I mean, some people are pretty far out there. And just there... in case, I do have this on my armor. Is there a second floor to the ship? Because there's a staircase that goes down here, but there's no staircase over here. Uh, it's because the there's two different ships oh, that I had to yeah, composite is... this out of. That's right. One of them's the captain's quarters. It's not a real staircase all the way down. Mm. It's like it's literally those three steps and then there's a door right there <laughs> yeah exactly she grabs her shield and puts on her uh armor okay as the first one up what do i see okay so as you're, you're the first one up you, you you sprint up there uh you see a light fog and you just see various members of the ship uh of the crew kind of walking about the sides, uh, checking the various lines, and some talking amongst themselves. Hey, uh, did people just walk off the side of the ship? Uh, both, uh, both the crew men look at you and like, what? No, I didn't hear anything, did you? No, I didn't hear anything. My friends say they heard and saw some people doing it so hmm that gives me a bad feeling they go to the first mate who makes the executive decision to ring the emergency bell bing 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 uh it takes some time, and as, as, as everyone else is kind of coming up to the top of the deck, the crew is kind of gathering. The captain is awoken and kind of comes out. There's some talking, and there's a head count is done, and the captain is just like, We're Seamus. Or McDougal. 
calls out several other names. And they all look around. A search is done throughout the boat, but none of the individuals are found. Now, I will state, to give you all the opportunity, while this is all happening, uh, it does take a significant amount of time, like 20, 30 minutes, and the ship is unceasingly moving towards its destination. Yeah, if you look over the side, do we see people? No, just a light fog. Or no I'm, anything. I'm going to have... All right. Important things that are that are up. First thing. Arcane sense. Okay. Do we get anything with uh detect magic? Because uh let's see, I am currently I think I'm just a master in Arcana. So it is automatically heightened to a third rank. So that is, uh, I meant to just, uh, pop out a, if you click detect magic, it'll pop a version out and then you can hit send at the top. It is not letting me send it. Oh yeah. It's not letting me do it either. Yeah. It's because, uh, I ah, technically I don't have it in my sheet. I, I don't know why I can, but I did it. Uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I have that active and, um, Am I getting anything registering? If I'm like Not within your pulse. range. Even as I'm like wandering the ship, even? Even as you're wandering the ship. Okay. Second element. Is there anything that I'm thinking of uh, that could be going on that has to do with either anything I've looked into and researched that has to do with arcana or occultism? Like, is this a known magical phenomena that can happen in this region? Or the ability of creatures or something that is trained in either of those fields? Uh, you don't necessarily need to roll because you can guess that, I mean... There are a actually a pretty good breadth of of sea creatures capable of hypnotizing individuals, causing them to, you know, uh, fall to their doom in the briny depths. It's very hard to pick any out in particular without more evidence. Uh, people are saying people are jumping off the ship. I think I'll climb down the side and see if I can hear anything or see anything by getting closer. Yeah, I think I sort of tie a rope around my waist and hand it to Mommy getting ready to jump in. Okay, well, uh, you all get ready, get close to the water, do what you're gonna do. You don't hear anything. Not even splashing. All right, guys, I'll be back in a little bit. Um, I'm going to go take a quick look, take a swim like normal people. I look at Fidget. I will make I mention. Will uh, well, you're tied to it with the rope, so it makes sense. But if you guys do go jumping out the ship, the ship is moving away at a rate of uh, 40 feet per action three times around. So, oh, geez. yeah, it's going pretty <laughs> fast. This is actually my swim speed. <laughs> but that being said, I was just climbing down the side. I was yeah, I had no yeah. Uh, off. Sprite was kind of alluding to, though, being tied by a rope. Alluding to? I said it. <laughs> right aloud. You could be lying. That's not what alluding is. Shut I up. mean. You have yet to do the action. And you were looking to Fidget for some kind of confirmation. No, I was upset at Fidget for saying it was un uncommon for someone to swim. 
Many people oh. go swimming in the middle of the ocean for fun. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't all the time. I don't see or hear anything down here. I think it would be easier with a light, but cat light is cast on your head. You have a little you have a little headlamp now with the light cantrip. Fair. Yeah, I'm looking around. Um I fly it thirty feet per action down. Looking around, nah, yeah, you don't see anything in particular. Just the dark, uh, dark hue of the ocean. Still nothing. All right, so you take a dip in the water, Sprite. I fly down and then I like dip my toe in to check the temperature. It is freezing. Ooh. Prolonged exposure may lead to hypothermia. I fly back up. All right, guys, I checked. There was nothing there. You, you barely went in. I mean, you feel that water. I, keep, I can't. I'm not climbing down that. Well, cold doesn't really affect me much anyways. Well, aren't you fancy? I am. I go and hug mommy to warm up. From all the fire all over her. And his spiritual flame does not generate heat. She's still a person. She is. I'm not saying she's not warm. Just the being on fire part is irrelevant. Not the spray. I'm, I'm sure that was a question asked by the crew when we got her on board. And they're like, uh, she's not going to burn down the ship, right? She's fine. I don't know. I mean, she looks otherworldly. <laughs> and they're probably just like, eh, magic. The spiritual flame helps to warm me spiritually. Have you prayed to mommies over there? Yeah, I was in the middle of it before somebody had to call me out because of people jumping off of a boat, as I do big ol' air quotes. Exaggerated emotions. Rumble we'll climbs back up. <laughs> Guess I'll have to reconsider that beret for Mr. Puddles. I cross my arms and harumph into just turn into mommy. I start mumbling a prayer to her, just they're just being mean to me. <laughs> Odds are, if anybody dropped off, they very likely have already uh, gone way past the ship before we were able to get to them. Most likely. All right. So do y'all just leave it at a mystery? I unless unless there is any evidence, I can't make any determinations. It does not uh, look like there's anything to find evidence. Is there anything natural that may have caused this? Yes. Well, um, depression. No. no beasts that you're aware of. Fae. Tons of fae. That would still be linked to nature, right? Uh, that's true. And and uh, same thing as with William. There's too many to know. What about humanoids? Too many to know. Literally any mage. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what you are saying. It's mind manipulating magics and or magic like effects. There's so many creatures that have it. I just wanted to be included. <laughs> this is the questions that we have access to because there's no physical evidence left. Yeah. Is there a particular kind of liar that could do this? Maybe I could roll deception to figure it out. No. Well, I tried, guys. Uh, well, those people will stay dead and their mystery shall never be solved. We will not know what to tell their family. We won't tell their families anything. It's not our job. I don't even know their families. And we never will. 
<laughs> All right. So now that you guys have pretty much know, no one will resigns uh, these people to their fate. Want to know what happens? They're just depressed. Or do you all want to leave oh it as God, a Sylvanas is jumping off too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if... what, uh, I'll take this I... chance whenever I ask about sure. it. You never tell me, so I'll take it. Okay, it's because, it's because there's literally no way you guys can know and without uh, actively jumping into the water to find out. Oh, uh, it, it was a, an Avalith or an Algothu. Oh, it, it, oh boy. Brainwashed right a bunch of people and had them jump off the boat in which they all got, you know, covered in its slime. And now they're going to be weird, uh, like squishy half people that need to breathe underwater for the rest of their lives. Oh, God. That's, if I jumped in, um, would I turn into that? You guys are really high um, level. Uh, the DC, uh, the check I had you guys made earlier was against its essentially like dominate DC. That's a very particularly funny creature to throw at, specifically William. You guys rolled really low on the table, and even though it's a powerful creature in its own right, uh, compared to a bunch of level, you're all double its level. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, um, yeah, so it's the slime that it creates. At the first stage, there's no ill effect. On the second stage, though, the victim's skin softens and they become drained one. Stage three, the victim's skin transform into clear, slimy membrane. They become drained two. Uh, and if they are outside of water for an extended period of time, their skin begins to dry and it increases the drain condition. That's the effect also okay. becomes permanent. Extra you, you become fun. a jellyfish person. That's yeah. so fun. Uh, because you know, you know, uh, you know who wrote the book that is on William's hip? An abolith from the plane of water. Whoa. Hmm. I go back and jump in to turn into a slime creature. <laughs> that is that is the source of William's curse maelstrom is is an abolith that was jealous of and upset that its secrets were uh were read. So it's uh <laughs> sprites for a ray until they lose more dedication. Yes. <laughs> yeah, specifically this one was is a weaker version of probably the creature that cursed you originally. You would Certainly want what's hope. called a veiled master. Yeah. Ooh. It's the reason I have uh, I am a master in uh, aber aberration lore. Yeah. If you had discovered the slime at all or any any kind of sign of it, you would have known instantly what it was. Oh, yeah. But the ship had long passed where the slime cloud, cloud had been. So. Like I said, you guys could have if you went into it. But, uh, yeah, that's what happened. Those, those people are condemned to a fate worse than death. Rib. Simply Shouldn't be have failed to check, idiots. <laughs> Simply don't be weak of mind. All right. Does mommy know exactly what happened and just didn't say anything because we didn't ask? No, she just also heard the splash, but she heard it and she's like, doesn't doesn't affect me whatsoever. And so if she was the only one who would have heard, she wouldn't have said anything. <laughs> yeah, if I wasn't constantly asking mommy to help everyone, she would be completely fine letting y'all die. I'm sure. But all right, all right. One more possible encounter. Anything over a thirty? That's definitely oh. over thirty. Go oh. ninety-nine. Oh. What level is this one? Okay, this is technically higher than 
<laughs> than the oh, Avalon. God. It's level 63. Oh, shit. Encounter fight Baba table. Yaga. She just comes and grabs one of us and just takes off. <laughs> it's just the sea witch. To do ever it, it'd be funny. Solanus does have a feud with the hag. That's true. You should bring her back. Oh, don't worry. Okay. Who do you think killed your friend? Everyone thinks that Greg's boating accident was an accident. <laughs> little do we know, camera pans up a little to reveal the driver of the boat. It's the hag. Wait, so he did die? I don't know. Okay. The hag with an alchemical bomb. No. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to roll one more time to see if I get something more interesting. Definitely not. <laughs> 2d6 sharks. <laughs> yeah, those must be from all the corpses. Just level them up. 2d6 megalodons. <laughs> Um, so, I think regardless, we'll have to leave it for next time. Uh, though you guys do have a choice. Uh, <clears throat> we can play out the ship being attacked by a bunch of creatures that are all uh <laughs> well under your level or we can just hand wave and role play through it wait cam can i use my hero point to make you reroll and see if you can get higher than 63 sure <gasps> i'll throw mine in just in case <laughs> and my axe damn it there's williams 72. <gasps> Is there anything scarier that for XP gain? XP gain would be very hard on this chart for y'all in general. True. I think the uh, uh, anything above I guess the 78. Alright, let's see what Buddha rolls. Oh! Yes! Yes. 89. That's silly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, a single goblin in a rowboat. No, <laughs> uh, I don't think this creature. Oh, I man, it might be, actually. They did port over a lot of them. Oh, they I'm did. So That's so hilarious. Uh, it's it, it, it would be 2d6 orcas. <laughs> <laughs> That's an 89 on this? Well, so in Pathfinder 1st Edition, to be fair, because this is a 1st Edition table, uh, there wasn't such a high scaling of, of bonuses or differences. So 2, 2d6 creatures is a lot of creatures, which can be a dangerous encounter, even if they're all kind of weak compared to your characters. Hmm. In second edition, though, characters get way more proficient. So that's. Uh... So that is unfortunately. Well, just not as challenging. And normally I, I, I look at it and I'm like, OK, I can I can make a encounter based on like a similar creature or creatures. Um, but, 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 this does, it is one point off, not one point, two points off. Also weirdly topical. Three points off, my math is bad. Uh, 
I was just curious. Uh, from a much, much more interesting encounter. And so, I think I'm just going to go with the more interesting encounter. Uh, and let's see here. I think I need a D5. Let's roll D6 and minus, or re-roll if it's a 6. God damn you. <laughs> Never tell it to roll or not roll a 6. Don't mention it. And my axe. And your idea. Well, I, I assumed you wanted me to reroll, which I did. Did two, you? Two. Interesting. I think you were the 36. You yeah. were the 36. Oh, I see. I assumed you would. Since it's the end of the session, there's nothing to lose. That's fair. Okay. All right. I have an interesting encounter in mind. And we'll we'll get to it next time because I'd like to have time and we have 10 minutes left. It's the ghost pirate and his first man. <laughs> Captain oh, Bem Bem's revenge. Oh Here god. We go. no. Fuck. Actually, no, I bring it on, bitch. We're stronger now. I'd love to fight this guy. I'd love to try it out with my spirit glaive. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to nuke him with healing. Well, I will say uh, that the creature that this is, or creatures, rather, uh, is new to the monster, uh, the new monster core. Yo. Was it one you'll have to add to Foundry? Maybe. We'll see. But I do have an encounter in mind. But I think with that, we're going to end a little bit early. This is also how we allow Alicia to be here for the fun next week. For arriving. Also, yeah. Also arriving in Absalom. Uh, so the, the chart that I, I was using, by the way, goes all the way from uh, just a singular octopus. <laughs> uh, all the way up to the Kraken. Oh, I, I want to I fight the Kraken. You guys would probably die. Isn't Jokes? Like... No, I wouldn't. That's so rude that you'd say that. Isn't it like level 17? Yeah, pretty messed up. It's there? level 18. Oh, hey. Okay. How much health does it have? Uh, technically, the highest one on this list is a Shoka. 200 health? Uh, Kraken has 360. Yeah, it's like, that's nothing. With an AC of probably like 10. And then just under Kraken, the level jumps all the way down to just a sea serpent at level 12. <laughs> I like these tables because they have like really, really high creatures and with relatively a low level table. But you guys are so powerful now that like traveling on the ocean is just not a big deal. I'll show you. I'm going to die on the ocean just to prove you wrong. Throw some fish at us, Cam. Do it. True, that would kill me. I mean, there are level like 18 and 19 fish in this book. I just have 18 strength now, though. I knew it. I knew I didn't lose to just any old fish. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, let's go ahead and, and do some experience, shall we? So, y'all get 30 XP. Spit everywhere. Yeah, gross. For being here today. Character interpretation, you guys did pretty good. I'll give y'all 20. Uh, good ideas or plans? None particularly. Difficult actions? None particularly. Getting, Getting through, through the through library. The <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't succeed, so, you know. Getting Sprite to tell us his age. 
I feel like I almost succeeded enough times to add up to one full success. <laughs> Doesn't quite work that way. Uh, yeah, that's that's between y'all and Sprite, so Sprite will have to reward you for that one. Um, I'm gonna go with library ruling. I don't think you guys succeeded. Damn, you have no way of knowing if that's true or not. All right. Uh, no battles. So most of the player awards are kind of relevant. No one even did any like face check stuff. Yeah, not a lot. I guess player player nominations and our kudos, and I guess you guys are just gonna have to just settle for the fact that you guys got high level magic items <laughs> this session instead. <laughs> hmm. I want a kudo. William for being the cool cousin and teaching Sprite how to read good. You know, also I did like that scene. It's also back to his roots of robbing libraries. True. Never had a chance. All right, go ahead. Take 10, William. You little scamp. Yeah. That was a scene with Sprite of just of Sylvanas and William handing the leash back to each other or back and forth between each other and Sprite just going ballistic and then calm and then ballistic and then calm. That's true. I actually really like the, the Sprite lead uh, shenanigans. I'll give all three of you 10 points as well. Yay. I just realized, especially this session, it's like, oh, this is why it's it's just because William knows how to deal with this with this Fey. He just knows how to respond. He knows how to like placate the sprite and all it's mainly just because like it's never like saying no. It's always just like taking everything Sprite says at face value. <laughs> just agreeing, essentially, and yes anding. The same way you would, like, if, if a kid tells you something, you just, like, go with it. Exactly. William, you know, can I eat this candy? He would just be like, yeah, sure. Like, I'm not your dad. I don't care. I choke on it. No, a lot of it is because, to William, he's like, you're, a, you're an individual, like, probably adult. I don't care what you do. You don't need my permission. I appreciate that. Sprite has never died before, so he's fine. Right. Uh, Brumble and Fidgets. I'll go ahead and give y'all the 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 Medicaid award. You know, ten plus ten. Uh, you guys helped a lot of people. That, that did that did influence my decision on how powerful items to give you guys. Hey, let's go. We got those Shit. last few points maxed out to fifty because of that. Pretty much, yeah, <laughs> actually. Perfect score. We're so good at this. Yes. Thank you, extra credit. Any other player nominations and or kudos? Kudos to William being William and stealing a book, or in this case, a scroll from the House of Perfection. Yes, just the one. I mean, I'm sure there would have been more if we could have gotten you to that library. Oh, I fucking would have stolen so much. I tried. I tried too. I would say bad luck, especially to Alicia. Particularly to Alicia, not necessarily ever. That's true. I'll give I'll give Everett ten more XP. We should have made that our reward. We request access to the library. Can I get access to your library and then steal? I don't want to steal it. I don't know. It worked steal. out for me because like I was considering investing in a glaive, and now I have one. 
You have a cool one, too. True. Do you need uh, some goggles of night vision, but those aren't too expensive, I don't think. I think we all need that now. Or just considered like advanced darkness. No, this is just normal darkness. Okay. I have eight gold. I can't afford them. Or eight <laughs> copper. <laughs> Go rob you lied about only having eight copper. Get it. No. Oh my God. God. I throw my gold over the edge of the ship before anyone can search my pockets. I swallow it all. No evidence left behind. All right. Well, you know, a bit of a slower set session. A lot of that's just because, like, I'm bad about not preparing ahead of time for sessions, but usually that's okay. When it comes to finding names, though, ugh, it's the worst. I'm like, ah, yes, looking for in in game lore stuff, especially when they change everything. Yeah, we're all, all up in the elemental area of the world, and they're like, none of this is the same. Yeah, anymore. it's all different. So have fun with that. So, a bit of a struggle, but you guys got some really cool items. Woo! Some, some cool. even insanely cool items. I'm faster. I'm happy with the, the, the sash of books, or, because I think that's very perfect. The perfect item for William. I'm going to be so good at recall knowledge and uh yeah I, I i think it was a good set and you know a lot of xp but you know you guys are making way for absalom we got our narrative xp we got yeah. our friendship xp last yeah. session we got in enough xp to level up yeah so i think it's like it balances it out <laughs> But all right, with that, we're going to go ahead and say goodnight. 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 Goodnight.